Player of the year. Super versatile. Sisbate's one of the best shortstops in the game. Really cool to finally see her playing professionally. Nice chance for Bates. Wow! Fun to watch her play shortstop. She is without a doubt one of the best college players in the game and has become a household name to softball fans across the country. I'm so honored to be able to announce this draft pick. Our final draftee is an infielder from the University of Washington, this Bates. Hearing my name get drafted to like AU, I get like emotional because this is like such an important part of my life. So it was like the coolest thing ever because who gets to like play professional softball, you know? Look, no more blister. There we go. Check it out, check it out. Week two victories. Yeah, indeed. I don't know why I was like so intimidated, probably because like, I, I don't know how it goes, because I'm a rookie. So I was so scared. But it was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. I think what's really cool too, and what I didn't realize, was how competitive every single pitch is. Oh my gosh. I feel like with like the inning points and stuff, you're like on all the time. Like after a game, I'm like, holy crap, I need to go to bed. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired. Mentally exhausted. Yes. Because I like, I, you can't take a pitch off. Here we go, blue team! Keep going, baby! I love it, keep going, yes! Growing up, we would drive by our like little league fields. I'm like, mom, when does softball season start again? Like I always, I wanted to do it all the time. I just love sports and like being with my teammates and like working for a common goal and going through shared adversity. Like I love that stuff. This is uh, probably my first weekend off in four months. Caught a red eye because we had to see her play once. And it's pretty surreal. Sis baits another extra base hit for her. Will she settle for two? No, she's going for three. A triple for Sis Bates. 30 points, one swing in the bat for the rookie. From a young age, I knew I wanted to go to Washington. I watched them win in 09, and I was like, Dad, like, I want to go there. He's like, yeah, OK, sis. You, you, you do that. She goes, no, I'm serious. You know, and, and she, was, she was adamant. And I was, I didn't think that was even a shot. Honestly, like playing professionally was never really like a big dream of mine. I didn't even know I could do it. At every level, I wondered, you know, would her game translate? And she always found a way to um, separate herself. Even when I like just walked up and saw my locker, I was like, wow, like this is really happening. I kind of maybe had like some imposter syndrome, like maybe I don't belong here. I am like a small town girl, like I'm from Ceres, California, like what the heck, how am I here? But I've worked really hard to be here. I remember hearing stories of Sis Bates back on her travel ball days with her and her dad driving six plus hours one way to go to practice and come back. And at times it's kind of crazy to think the sacrifices you make to be elite in this game. There goes McClenny, the throw to second, in time! Got her with a hand in the cookie jar. To see the perspective that she has laying that path and you see a bunch of young girls in the stands watching and it's it's pretty incredible i mean it's special to have fans in the stands and little girls eyes on some of the best players to do it Yes. 
sometimes. I feel like a lot of people perceive me one way, but that might not be who I am. I'm not like just the cis baits that you see on Pac-12 Network, but I'm a human and like I can relate to like everything else that everybody else is going through. Thank you for being so good for your husband. But I'm like so grateful to like be in this position, but it's like kind of a challenge sometimes. I hated to have the spotlight on me. Like I wanted it to be us, not cis baits. Her ride has been pretty special and she stayed humble. When she comes home, you wouldn't even know that she played or did anything special. She's just a normal person. We've been blessed enough to be able to open doors and um, to you know, keep, keep trying to chase a dream. I am so passionate about softball and about the people that I play it with. So to me, as long as I'm still loving it and my body still allows me to play, I want to play as long as I can. So I want to be Cat, like I want to be Megan Wiggins. I want to continue to play the game that I love and I want to keep it around for the people underneath me. And I want to keep that going for generations to come. The person sis is, is who you see on the field too and um, I think that's pretty cool to be able to know that you know what, what you see is what you get with her. just think that the Lord has called me to like give to others and like bring others joy. I want to make people smile. I want to be that constant energy for someone. I hope that people remember me as like a really good teammate that is always the same no matter what. Yeah, you follow and on the river. Yeah, I love you. Her energy is infectious. She loves the game. She loves what she's doing and she truly loves to connect with the people whether you're playing with or against her. I have the no, utmost respect for her, and I think she's going to be incredible for this game as well. I like look at the outfield, and I'm like, dude, I'm really here. Like, I was sitting at home watching this last year, idolizing these women, and now I'm playing with them. I'm just really, really grateful to be where I am.